Thanks for checking out this case fleet tutorial. This video covers metadata, what it is, how to view it, and how to use it to find important documents in your cases. Metadata is simply additional data about computer files. Typically, metadata comes in fields that have both a name and a value. For example, a common field is the created date and time of a particular file. Created date would be the name of the field and the particular date and time would be the value for that field. To start viewing metadata for your sources and case fleet, visit the Sources tab and click on the Column Chooser button. This button is just above the top of the table and it's represented by three rectangles. When you click the button, you'll see blue text stating that there are hidden columns. When you click that text, you'll be able to view all of the hidden columns and toggle them on and off. There are many different columns, so you'll want to choose an appropriate number of columns based on the width of your screen. In addition, you can turn off columns such as the number of citations, tags, or date that may not be pertinent when you're viewing metadata. Metadata fields vary by file type but there are a few very common fields that span multiple types of files. These are the created date, the last change date, who created the file, the title of the file, and the content type of the file. All of these can be viewed in case fleet. Emails have specialized metadata. Email metadata fields include the subject, the to address, the from address, the CC addresses, the BCC addresses, and the sent date. Images include metadata such as latitude and longitude, the make of the camera, and the model of the camera. These fields are not available on all images, but they can be available and can be very important when they are present. When you edit the columns or add filters on the Sources tab, you'll be prompted to save the current state of the columns and filters as a new view. A view is a handy way of saving the changes you've made to the page and giving those changes a name so that they can be recalled at a later time. Common use cases for views are saving subsets of documents with particular metadata that you want to be able to view. An example might be emails sent to or from a particular address with columns showing the relevant email metadata fields. CaseFleet also includes the ability to filter by various metadata attributes, such as the email address fields and the sent date for emails. Metadata filters that you create can be saved as part of save views for quick and easy recall. Thanks for reviewing this tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at casefleet.com.